Hello, students. Hello. Good. Hello. Everybody. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome you all to our Hello, evening. teacher. Welcome. Welcome you all. I don't know if you can see me. Can you see me here? I, I don't know if you can see the camera. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I can see myself today. Well, welcome you all guys for English classes. It's a great chance to be here with you, ready to study and learn English, because that's one of the goals we have here, to, to, to have the chance to practice English and study. And um, yesterday was a day off for all of us. We, we had a special time for many people. It's the best days, you know, people, you know, we celebrate, as we say, in a special moment, right? So that's why it's very important to to be with the family and celebrate in the 
in the cemetery, you know, with people who pass away. So welcome you all guys to, um, to continue our English classes. We are about to finish our course. This level to go on to the next one. And I'm pretty sure that all of us, we have learned a lot in this class. And at the same time, this is a great opportunity for showing what you have learned and continue studying because it's a process. Some people study English and they have a doubt. They don't understand some topics. Um, it is difficult for them to, to understand a topic and that is comprehensible. But in every class, you learn new words. In every class, you learn new vocabulary. In every class, you learn different content, topic, grammar, and work in the four main skills. So this is the process that we learn every day. And one of the things is to try, try, work hard and study. And at the end, you will understand everything. You will understand English, and you will communicate effectively with the language. So that is one of the points. Así que, pues, no hay que rendirse, pues hay que seguir. You have to go on, continue working, continue studying. Yo nunca he escuchado a alguien que diga, no, yo, yo estudié inglés y era súper fácil, lo aprendí rápido. Es decir, es un proceso. Entonces, se estaba aprendiendo y es. Hay personas que aprenden inglés eh, en un tiempo corto porque este, pues, han estudiado, les ha gustado el idioma y se han esforzado muchísimo. Entonces, ustedes tienen que hacer esa diferencia. Así que tenemos que seguir estudiando, tenemos que seguirnos preparando y pensando a lo mejor en lo que se nos va Muy bien, so let's start with this introduction. And I just want to ask you guys about the last class. ¿Qué, qué se recuerdan que estudiamos? A ver, what do you remember about the last class? What topic we discussed in the last time we had a class? Estuvimos formulando preguntas, teacher. Ok. También leímos el, este, el artículo, uno bien largo. Mm -hmm. Reading, reading the artículo. Ok, reading the article, ok, reading and comprehension, ok, ok, thank you. Yes, something else? So we developed the double equations in, the, in every statement. So we had the opportunity to work in these structures. So we work in some sentences. And also don't forget if you had a doubt about the last class or you couldn't say the complete class because of the internet connection, because you came late, or for some turn, excellent Ferguson. Recuerden que pues ahí están los videos del grupo, pues ustedes pueden entrar al grupo y puede repasar el video de la clase que estudiamos y lo que, lo que vimos y algunos ejercicios. Entonces no se les olvide que es importante que ustedes eh, repasen y puedan ver los videos de las clases que hemos estudiado. Muy bien. So, let's continue, guys, with the next topic. This topic is a piece of cake. It's pretty, pretty easy. I think it's not difficult at all. Eh, lo van a entender súper fácil y pues muchos ya tienen la idea de qué se trata. So, let's show the topic for this class today. And the topic we have is this one, the use of can for ability. When we are talking about can, we're talking about some things that we are capable of doing. We have the capacity to do something, and especially using the verb, the model verb can. So for that reason, we can see an example about this conversation. Look at the, the, the topic about this picture. Can you sing or act? Be as hard. TV talent contest Saturday 9 a.m. So you can see here a conversation about two people. And what I like about this conversation is that we, we can use can or can. Vemos ahí que dice, I can sing, right? No puedo cantar. And also we see the conversation between Kayla and Fields. Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. 
oh thanks well you can uh, you, you can too oh no i can't sing at all but i can play the piano so maybe we can enter the contest sure why not oh let's practice tomorrow so we can see uh two people discussing about about some abilities for the talent show entonces vemos que aparece el uso del can Let me see. Um, let's see. Look at this one. Entonces, nos dice ahí la oración, oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Oh, mira, hay un concurso de talentos el sábado. Entremos. No puedo entrar a un, talent, a un concurso de talentos. I can. Entonces, vemos que ahí está el can. Y es el, esa T tiene que sonar para que sea, para que sea negative. Porque en afirmativo es can. Entonces en negativo sería can't. I can't. So I can't sing. Um, what can I do? ¿Qué puedo hacer? Teacher. Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me. I can, I can see the, the example in, in the... In the... the Maybe the, look at the internet connection or something like that because we are showing right now the presentation. Okay. Mire si puede ser el acceso a internet porque tenemos todos los demás en la pantalla. Yes, there. Yeah. Yeah. So we we are showing right now. Okay. So look. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. So it says, what can I do? Said, you can sing really well. You can sing really well. Because it can as affirmative form. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Bien, tú puedes también. Oh, no, I can't sing at all. I can't sing at all. Como decimos en inglés, at all. Cuando se pronuncia, pues, un poquito más natural, I can sing at all. But I can play the piano. Pero puedo tocar el piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Así que puede ser que nosotros podamos entrar al concurso. Cuando veo la palabra maybe, es como decir puede ser, right? Puede ser. Uh, maybe. Sure. Why not? Seguro. ¿Por qué no? Okay, let's practice some more. So you can see this conversation about some people who want to uh, try in a, in a contest show. So talent shows, but for this, you have to have a, a, a special talent. Entonces, ahí vemos que ahí va como introduciendo eh, lo que es el, el talent shows. Entonces, veamos, eh, veamos el, la siguiente parte para dar una introduction about the use of can. Vemos ahí que can lo ocupamos para dos cosas importantes. There are two valuable reasons about the use of can. Vamos con el primero. Dice, number one, ability or possibility. Es decir, que lo usamos para habilidad o posibilidad de algo. Hey, yo puedo hablar inglés. Es una, una posibilidad. Y también puede ser una habilidad porque ya tenemos un dominio. O para permiso. Uh, you can use my pen. Tú puedes usar mi lapicero. You can use my pen. Entonces, lo usamos para habilidad. I can swim. I can speak English. I can dance. I can work. I can fix the computers, I can run. So we use for abilities or at the same time as possibility. También lo usamos para permission, para cuando nosotros queremos pedir un permiso de algo. I'm sorry, can I use your bathroom? ¿Puedo utilizar el baño? Can I use your bathroom? Can you give me your pen, please? ¿Puedes darme tu lapicero, por favor? Um, well, you can take, you can take the, the refrigerator. Entonces lo usamos para permission también. Y vemos que está eh, el, los oraciones afirmativas y negativas. Dice can plus verb. Es decir, el verbo, el, el, el poder can más el verbo. He can speak English. He can speak English. Vemos ahí que como el can es un auxiliar, el can es un verbo auxiliar, en inglés se le llama model verbs, el siguiente verbo pues no tiene que llevar ni esa ni nada, sino que en forma normal. El can, para todos los pronombres, 
siempre va a ser can, no se le va a agregar ninguna S ni nada. Porque es un, es un verbo, pero al mismo tiempo es un auxiliar. Entonces, no necesitamos agregarle una S o una IS. Por ejemplo, eh, con, venir, comes, she comes, she studies, she works, she travels. Entonces, eh, como es tercera persona, pues tenemos que agregarle S y S o S como la regla. Pero en el caso de Ken, como es un verbo, pero es un auxiliar también, no necesitan ninguna ayuda de las S. Entonces vemos la affirmative form. I can speak English. You can ride a bike. He can drive a car. She can play the guitar. It can swim. Vemos ahí que eh, se usa el pronombre, el verbo y la, y la estructura, el complemento. Y para los plurales es lo mismo. We can play football. You can see the stars. They can dance. Miren qué bonito. Y tenemos la forma negativa. Vemos que yo puedo decir en inglés cannot. En la forma normal, cannot. I cannot. You cannot. He cannot. Pero en una conversación, para que sea más fluido, eh, por, más que todo en forma contractada, se ocupa... Eh, por lo general, para las conversaciones. Cuando es escrito, pues usted puede poner I can not, no pasa nada. Pero las contractions son exclusivas, bastante exclusivas para las eh, conversaciones, para hacer una conversación fluida. Yo digo, can't, I can't speak, in, speak French. You can't ride a horse. He can't drive a truck. She can't play the piano. It can't fly. We can't play tennis. You can't see germs. They can't sing. Entonces vemos ahí que la forma pues, negativa en forma de contraction es can. Can, 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 can. Ahora, para pregunta dice equation. Affirmative. Y vemos ahí, they can speak Spanish. Pero si quiero hacer una pregunta como todas las estructuras del presente simple, aquí nosotros no vamos a utilizar el do o el das para preguntas. Porque can ya es un auxiliar de por sí. No necesita ninguna ayuda de nada. Entonces, lo que hacemos es agregar can al inicio. Can they speak Spanish? Can you speak English? Can he speak French? Can he cook? Can he finish the homework? Can we practice English? Entonces vemos ahí y la posible respuesta dice una short answer. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Yes, he can. No, he can't. Yes, she can. No, she can't. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Entonces vemos la forma negativa. Y la forma positiva, usando el yes, they can, no, they can. Y siempre haciendo la pregunta, can you, can he, can she. Ahora bien, vamos a la última parte donde dice contractions. Quiero que sigan conmigo donde dice contractions. Can't es como decir cannot. I cannot travel. Oh, you cannot. She cannot. Pero, eh, como les digo, es más común utilizar la contraction porque es mucho más fluido. Y decimos can't. No, she can't. He, he can't think. He cannot think. Vemos ahí la estructura. Eh, ¿Preguntas sobre eso? No. It's easy. It's like a piece of cake. Ok, let's go on to the next part of the exercise. Ok. Look at this one. Uh, Mirna Janet, hello. Hi, Mirna. Hi. Uh, can you help me to read the instructions? Me ayuda a leer la indicación que está ahí, at the top. Okay. Uh, complete the sentence, then compare which a partner. Part Partners. Kayla is talking. Okay. Um, in the first, um, dice I can't draw 
no, no, no nos leyó la primera, donde dice A, donde está la letra A, no sé si la, la B. Ah, perdón, perdón. Excuse me. Don't worry, don't worry. Kyla is talking about things she can and can't do. Sigo, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah. Complete the sentences. Then compare with a partner. Ahí termina, ¿verdad? Yes, thank you so much, right? Entonces veamos acá eh, de una manera briefly, in a briefly way, eh, she can or can't do and complete the same, then compare with the partner. So we will do it simultaneously. Veamos la número uno. I, according to the, to the picture, ¿cuál podría ser la número dos? I can. I can. I can. I can, I can right? It's uh, affirmative. I can, I can ask. Muy bien. Eh, veamos la uno que dice, I can draw. Pues no puede porque el dibujito está algo rarito. Look at the number three. Look at the number three. What do you think? I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah. yeah, because the boy suffers because of the, the sun, because of the thing. <laughs> like please don't stop don't sing please Carry <laughs> my ear so that's like okay look at the number four here what do you think about number four I can, I can. Fix her. Fix her. yeah she looks confident and she looks happy so she can I can fix cars that's great that is a nice ability okay. what about the number five what do you think about I can I can play tennis. I can't play tennis. Affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Negative teacher. Affirmative teacher. Affirmative. Um, well, according to the picture, I mean, it, we, we're not sure about it. it. Could be affirmative, I think. I mean, it doesn't show like a clear image if I can or can't. Es que yo veo al, al muchacho intimidado, por eso, por eso digo yo que es que no sé. Yeah, yeah, it's like the picture doesn't like show a clear idea. No nos da una idea clara, pero we can use both. A ver si está perdiendo, we don't know about it. Number six. I came. Can. I can't. Negative. Negative. Yeah, I can't. I stayed very well. Yeah, because you can see her on the, on the eyes. And like she's not so talented with that. All right. Number seven. I, I can play the play. piano. Yeah. Affirmative. affirmative for... uh, that's affirmative. I can. I can because she looks like she's making music. And that's good. She knows what she's doing. And what about the last one? I can't. Number eight, I can't go out uh, at all. So sad. Cannot. <laughs> yeah, it's burning. Se está quemando, you know, it's burning. You can see the smoke. I can't. And she's like, you know, having a like, good time. So bad because she's not cooking. Okay, so according to the pictures, we have like a clear image about if that is affirmative or also negative. So the context, the most important is that you can understand what is happening in the context. Look at that. Well, let's go on to the next part of the exercises because most of them are exercises. Hmm, what it says, let's see here. The world has met with a big challenge for the list. Mendes and check. Begin. Hello. Okay, let's see. We're going to ask to. Hmm. 
hay muchos que tienen la cámara apagada y pues, ustedes saben que en todas las conferencias pues siempre se verifica quiénes tienen sus cámaras. Le vamos a pedir a Saúl Alexandre que nos ayude con, con la indicación. I have a problem with the with the screen okay. on my. So what you can do is like what well also you can do is like try to check the presentation that we have in the WhatsApp group. Si no puedes vea la en la presentación ahí que, que hemos subido pues bien vamos a pedir a Fátima de mi Rivera que nos lea la indicación y recuerden a todos que tienen que tener su cámara encendida. Esto no es indicación personal, sino que es una indicación directamente en Ford. Y cuando nosotros damos la, la inducción al inicio, eh, ahí está en uno de los, ¿verdad? de los puntos importantes a tomar en cuenta. Tanto para este nivel, para los demás. Hello. Ah, ¿Me escuchan? Yes. Yes. Um, solo la indicación, teacher. Um, Yes, please. E, yes, do that. Uh, complete the world map with abilities and talents from the list. Ten list and the check. Okay, ayúdenos con, la, con el vocabulario que está ahí, please. Read it. Okay. Um, but a case. This thing a uh, web pag, pag, no sé. Do Teacher. gymnastic. Fits a car. Teacher. A motorcycle. Paint picture. Hello, teacher. Play chess. Plays the violin. Ride a horse. Sing English songs. Surf. Say God. Joke. Thank you so much. That's okay. So we will take a short time here to and read this statement. And uh, we have to complete the word map with the abilities and talents from the list. Entonces vemos ahí que está musical or artistic. Entonces usted va a poner ahí del vocabulario que está ahí from the vocabulary, uh, which words belong to this group or this category. Technical or mechanical. ¿Cuál, ¿Qué vocabulario creen ustedes que va enfocado a technical or mechanical? Luego viene la siguiente categoría que es athletic. ¿Qué vocabulario va en athletic? Y que eh, donde dice other, que es como otro. Si usted dice que este no va en ninguna de las tres, entonces tiene que ir en la categoría de other. Eh, that, is, that is the way. Muy bien. Así que les voy a dar unos minutitos para que hagan el ejercicio. Y vamos a pasar la asistencia, entonces por favor atentos ahí, cuando mencione su nombre, usted me dice present, ok? So we can, um, we can also do that. Muy bien, vamos a pasar la asistencia y ustedes avanzan en este ejercicio. One second, please. Okay, let's see here the names. Uh, Ana Elizabeth Garcia. Ana Elizabeth Garcia. Eh, Blanca Mireya Galdames Fernández. 
present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Braulio Heriberto Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Denis Eliseo Gutierrez. Present teacher. Thank you, Doribel Arelia Piazza Flores. Present teacher. Thank you, Emanuel Portales Hernández. Emanuel, no. Present teacher. And Evelyn Janet Cáceres de Bonilla. Present teacher. Eh, Fátima Elisa Marroquín Mejía. Fátima Elisa Marroquín. No. Eh, Fátima Noemí Rivera Rivas. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Irma Suleima Grande de Cuellar. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Present teacher. Eh, Jacqueline López. Present teacher. Thanks. Jonathan Eduardo eh, Elias Granadeño. Jonathan Eduardo. Present teacher. José Arice Moreno Alberto. Present teacher. Thanks. José Enrique Orellana Arana. Present teacher. Thanks. Jocelyn Noemí Romero Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodriguez. Carla Abigail. Eh, Lorena Saraí Mamsa Méndez. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Miguel Mejía Alas. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Marcela Alejandra Lausel Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Mirna Janet Landos Martinez. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Pedro Isaac López Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, Rebeca Michelle Gómez Majano. Rebeca Michelle Gómez. Eh, Ruth Noemí Guevara Reyes. Ruth Present Noemí. teacher. Thank you. Eh, Saúl Alexander Luciano Calderón. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Teresa de Jesús Ponce Hernández. Teresa de Jesús Ponce Hernández, eh, Wendy Lisette Carías de Sevilla. Present teacher. Wilfredo Serna Amaya. Wilfredo Serna Amaya. Estará por aquí, no está. No está Wilfredo. No, no está. Eh, no sé si me escuchan, me escuchan bien o me escuchan suave. Se escucha suave, teacher. Se escucha suave. Oh, es so, 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 so. Ok, what about now? Right now. Ahora yes. sí. ¿Y ahora? Yes. Very good, Hola. teacher. Very loud. Yes. Escuchen. Very good. Yeah, very loud. It's loud. ¿Me escuchan? No. No me escuchan. No. Como le había puesto de primero, sí se le escuchaba. Oh, ¿Me escuchan? No. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Es que sí se, sí se escucha, pero suave. No sé qué with dice, echo, with, uh, with echo, teacher. Bueno, creo que quizás por donde estoy, eh, no quiero ver si cambiamos unos, unos headsets. One second. Se le, se le escucha con eco, teacher, como que si estuviera allá a lo lejos, así se le escucha. Uh, ¿Me escucha? Hola, hola. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. The same yeah. teacher. Yes, teacher. teacher. With, 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 with echo. Um, I don't know what to do. Maybe, maybe the place where I am. Pero se entiende, sí. Sí, sí, se entiende. Yeah. Okay, yes, perfect. Okay, perfect. So let's continue, guys. Well, um, let's continue with the following exercises we have here. So, and you will help me to answer the following ones we have. Bien, vamos a ver con el primero que tenemos acá. 
Y nos dice, eh, musical or art artistic? What could be? Play the chess, play the, play the violin, paint the picture, in English song, tell good jokes. Okay, there are also possibilities. And what about technical or mechanical? This ain't up there. Fix a motorcycle, fix a car, fix a motorcycle. Right. That's all. Okay. Uh, e athletic. Do gymnastics. Do gymnastics. Um, and surf. surf play chess. Ride a horse. Ride a horse. Play sword. Do, do gymnastics. All right, so what about uh, the last one, other? Play right, chess, right design a web page, tell good jokes. Tell good jokes. Okay, that could be. All right, so let's uh, see. There, there are different things that we can categorize as uh, musical, artistic, technical, and so on. So it depends, we can categorize or rank them. Okay, next exercise, we have a listening exercise. In this case, what I want you to do is to work in the listening skills. So I will share with you right now a link and you will have access to a listening exercise. Look at this. Quiero que vean el chat y les voy a compartir un ejercicio de listening. Me dicen si pueden entrar al chat y le van a dar clic y van a desarrollar un ejercicio en este momento. El objetivo es que ustedes escuchen eh, donde dice Listening Lab. Ustedes escuchar que tenemos que agregar, eh, completar cada oración o pregunta con el can y más algunos de los verbos son negativos. Entonces usted le va a dar play. Y lo va a escuchar y lo va a responder. Luego usted al final de este ejercicio va a ver la respuesta, pero yo no quiero que usted vea la respuesta. Quiero que lo haga por usted mismo. Quiero que primero trate y se esfuerce de responderla por usted mismo y ya cuando haya culminado, pues luego ve la respuesta. Entonces yo les voy a dar eh, unos minutitos para que escuche el audio, complete el ejercicio en su cuaderno y luego... Uh, you can check the answers using can or can't. Eh, ¿Me dicen si ya vieron el enlace? Yes. Eh, yes ¿ya, ¿Ya algunos accesaron yes, ya el enlace? ¿Sí? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Excellent. Entonces le voy a dar unos minutitos para que lo haga y luego pues we go back. Let's go. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Do you already send it to? Uh, send it to. Um, look at this by this chat. Look at this Zoom chat. You will see a link. You click on the link, and you will see the exercise. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, I can I help you? Doctor. Okay, students, let's take this time to go on to the next exercise. So, um, so we could see the answers. Do you understand the, the speaker? Do you understand the speaker? So, so, teacher. So, so, some expression. Es que alguna, algunas sí siento que, que sí, pero quizás algunas palabras como no las conozco, no, no sé cómo se escriben bien. It's not familiar. Ok. Eh, ¿Pudieron eh, corroborar su respuesta? Yo es teacher. Ok, so... Throw, yeah. escribí mal yo. Ok, but you can compare, right? So you can also practice. Where can I go? She can't see. They can't find. How far can you throw this? You can't leave until five. How can I help you? The doctor can't see you now. The kids can't answer for the door. There can only be one answer. No can do. So th those like expressions in English. So it is about practicing this thing. Well, let's take a short time to answer the following statement. And um, look at this. So we have to choose the correct answer using can or can. So I want you to focus and concentrate in each statement. Look at the context. 
and check what possible answers we can add, if we can use can or can't. So for that reason, we'll take a short time to do this activity. Así que les voy a dar eh, two minutes to do this. Let's go. Okay, let's check the answers. We have choose the correct answer, can or can't. Tenemos el primero. Um, what do you think it would be, can or can't? Can. 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 No, uh, can, teacher. She can't speak French. Can I not. Pick it up while I was in French. So, um, but can not or can't? Can't or can? And not. But look at this one. It says I picked it up while I was in France. Can. I can't teacher. It's affirmative can. because you know this person learned. Affirmative teacher. Yes, that's right. Porque ahí no dice pues que, que lo como que lo, lo agarró, agarró el idioma cuando pues fue a Francia. Number two. Not. Can't. Can. I can't, right? I can't come to the party. I'm really busy. O sea, no puede porque está ocupado. That's correct. Uh, what about the number three? We hear you. The music is so loud. I can't. I can't yeah. hear the music. We so can't loud. hear you. The music is so loud. No podemos escuchar, pero la música está tan fuerte. So in that case, the way would be negative. And number four. Can't. Can't. Where are my keys? I can't find them. Where is my keys? I can't find them. Muy bien. 
Great job. So that's the same. What about the number five here? I can't yeah. believe I it. Can. I was want two can. million dollars. I can't believe it. We want two million dollars. Wow. That would be awesome to listen to that. Yeah, it's a dream, of course. Number six, we meet tomorrow if you want. Yeah. Can. We can meet tomorrow if you want. Affirmative, of course. Number seven. Can. Can, teacher. Can. Oh, you. Can make. Can, teacher. Can you make me a cup of tea, please? Yes. Or can you make me? Can you make me a cup of tea, please? Ahí le podemos agregar un personal pronoun. Para que suene un poquito mejor. Y la número ocho. Can. Can negative, teacher. Can. Uh. He can't jump. His leg hurts so much. Él no puede saltar. Su pierna, su pierna le duele mucho. Muchísimo. Number nine. Can. Can. Negative. Yes. Illiterate. Illiterate people significa las personas que eh, le llaman también como analfabetas o personas que no pueden leer o no pueden escribir. En inglés le llaman illiterate. Illiterate people can't read and write. This is, this is common. It's common. Thank you, teacher. Okay, and fish. Can. Fish. Can. Can. Okay. Affirmative. Affirmative. Of course, right? So we can see that. Well, we will take a short time to conclude the class. Tenemos cinco minutos para hacer el siguiente ejercicio. Usted va a decirnos en la clase qué cosas puede hacer y qué cosas no puede hacer. Por ejemplo, ¿Quiénes pueden cocinar? Todos. Yo creo que todos. Si oh. no nos morimos de hambre, si no cocinamos. <laughs> Así que all of us we can cook, right? ¿Quiénes pueden, por ejemplo, nadar? Can you swim? I can swim. I not can. I can I not. can swim, teacher. I, I can. can. I can. Entonces, usted va a hacer preguntas. Can you speak English? Can you swim? Can you cook? Entonces, usted va a hacer una lista. Va a responder estas preguntas en su pequeño grupo. Um, what can you do? ¿Qué puedes hacer? I can cook, I can dance, I can speak English, I can ride a bike, I can... Usted va a decir qué cosas puede hacer. Y la otra es, what can't you do? ¿Qué cosas usted no puede hacer? I can't cook, I can uh, drive a bus, I can't speak French, I can't uh, run fast. I can eat lobster. Entonces usted va con su grupo, va a compartir estas dos preguntas. No sé si alguien puede tomarle captura y la comparte en el grupo. Yes. ¿Alguien? ¿Alguien le puede tomar captura? Ya lo comparto. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's work in the team. Vamos a tener four minutes to do that. Y luego, pues, we conclude the class. So, break up rooms. One second. One small groups. Así que, atentos ahí. Y vamos a crearlos. Y entramos para compartir qué podemos hacer y qué no podemos hacer en, in English, of course.
Hola. Hola. ¿Me escuchas? Hola, Sí. hola. Sí, Yo un te poquito escucho. de antecedente, pero sí te escucho. Te escuchamos, te escuchamos, aquí estamos. Ok. ¿Estoy viendo por ahí? Bastante. Eh, ¿De dónde es usted? Aquí en San Vicente. Ah, ok. Interesante. No sabíamos. Ok, ok. Thank you. Okay. Carla, what can you do? Run, I can make exercise. I makes exercise. Um, I can uh, brush my teeth. I can wash my face. I can uh, more. No. <coughs> Only that. Uh, <clears throat> many more, but I'm tired. <laughs> okay. I'm tired. Yeah. Twenty. Um. No. In a, in... <coughs> Hello. Hello, compañera. And what can't I do is I can't I can't do I can what can't I do it is, uh, let me see. I can kiss the <laughs> girl of my brother. I can, I can't touch my, my fingers. I can touch the floor. I, I can, I can go to the store right now. I can, I can go at the supermarket. I can, I can go at the church. I can. Um, I can make. <coughs> uh, I can make. Oh, a carpenter works. I can make um, a body shop to uh, words. I can. Okay, students, uh, thank you so much for uh, the opportunity to join us in the class today. And also don't forget to work in the exercises that we have in the platform. Are really important to complete all the exercises we have. And it's uh, very, very necessary to, to be active. And also practice, look for some uh, means 
or practicing vocabulary expression um, in the internet, you can see a lot of exercises that can help you to work in the skills. So I know that most of that's very easy, but at least we can take the time for doing that. So thank you guys for being here in the class. I hope to see you tomorrow. This is the last class for this um, this level, Principiantes Go. So we you will continue with the next level that you will see different topics, different contents, and you will reinforce in every single class activity. So thank you so much. And no se les olvide completar la serie en la plataforma. Y nos veremos el día de mañana. Okay, thank you guys. Have a beautiful night to all of you. Enjoy bye, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.